Now away from schools, the National Blood Bank has recorded 20% decline in donations this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Restrictions on social gatherings compounded the problem, which experts say could be dire on health service delivery. Speaking at a virtual event in Accra to commemorate Blood Donor Day, CEO of the National Blood Service, Dr. Justina Anta, revealed only 53,000 donations were received this year, compared to 73,000 same time last year. There is an acute shortage of blood and components in health facilities as a result of the imposition of restrictions on public gathering, which led to the cancellation of mass mobile drives nationwide. However, there is continuous need for blood to save and improve the lives of many patients who require transfusion as part of their clinical management of their conditions. Consequently, the demand for blood and components far outstrips supply, especially from voluntary donors who are considered the safest source of blood. This present situation strongly emphasizes the fact that people need blood all the time, even during pandemics such as COVID-19. To highlight a few statistics, ladies and gentlemen, total blood collection declined by 21% from 73,063 units recorded between January to May 2019 to 57,268 units over the same period this year, 2020. The percentage of voluntary blood donations considered only 28.7%, with the remaining 71.3, which is 40,809 units, coming from family replacement donations. Voluntary donations were far more severely impacted than family replacement donations. The implications, ladies and gentlemen, in the sharp drop in blood collections are die on health outcomes. Patients who cannot find relatives and friends to donate blood for them during emergencies, such as bleeding from complications of childbirth, aggressive cancers, severe anemia, and severe bleeding from trauma may not recover from their conditions. Now, let's explore this subject a bit further. We've been joined by the CEO for the service, Dr. Justina Ansa. Now, you mentioned, Doc, that it's because of the COVID-19 protocols and the ban on social gatherings that we've seen a decline in blood donations. Can you explain a bit further? Very much for having me. Um, first, the, I did mention that our donations are mainly from um, the mass mobile collections, the voluntary donations. 90% of our uh, collections are from mass donations. And because of the restrictions on um, the restrictions placed on public gathering, because mass mobiles were, were considered uh, as public gathering, so we could not go out to collect blood. So we had to resort rather to uh, appointment system. And so that tells you already that 90% which of your collections of voluntary donors donation will be affected. Apart from that, we also um, had schools at home. Um, we also had um, the churches and the mosque were also not, not were home. And also we, we had the corporate organizations also um, home. I mean, some of them were working and some and people also didn't want to come into the hospitals. They'd rather stay away at home. So all this compounded the problem. So um, it's actually impacted on collections right. in general. Right. We had to put in measures mm. to ensure that we get the collection because, of course, there's a continuous demand for blood. Mm. And that every time, you know, that the supply was not um, as much as the, the, the demand. What were so some of what, these measures uh, that you put in, yeah. Dr. Ansa? Yeah. What were some of the measures you put in, Doc? Okay, thank you very much. Um, the first measure we put in was to, well, initially when there was the lockdown, we had to contact, we had to actually work with the COVID-19 national team to request for approval to be able to give out um, passes to people to be able to come to, to donate. 
So we had from our we issued passes from our donor call center, especially in Kumasi and uh, uh, Accra. The second thing we did also was to actually actively call our donors whose numbers we had through our call center. So we did active calling of our donors, as well as putting the numbers, advertising in the graphic and all that for people to come forward. So that was the first thing we did. Okay. We had to get the donors um, to, to come and donate blood. And we informed them also mm. that we were going to use the appointment system. So people had to come on an appointment. We assured also that as the donors came in, they had to, we had water uh, to wash their hands, um, soap and water and the running water. And then when they came in, we also took their temperature using a non-contact thermometer. All these things we informed okay. them before they came into education. Okay. And then we checked that. We also had an enhanced uh, form where we asked about um, their history, whether they've been in contact with signs and symptoms right. of uh, the COVID infection or a history of that. Right.